How's it going, everyone? ND Sean 45 coming at you. This recap is going to be short and sweet. But first things first, though. Great win for the Irish tonight. We we beat Syracuse by the final score of 31 to 15 and improved to 4 and 0 on the season. And anytime the Irish get a victory, this Notre Dame fan couldn't be any more happier. And that's always grounds for celebrating. However, and I'm not trying to be negative here, but at the same time, I would be lying to all of you if I said that the mistakes and the turnovers made in tonight's game didn't bother me. Because uh, they do. Uh, you know, there are not many teams that I know of that can turn the ball over five times in a game and still end up uh, with the victory. It just doesn't happen. Um, maybe we're the exception. I don't know, but uh, those those mistakes that I that I was seeing tonight uh, very alarming and concerning. Um, you know, Everett Golson he accounted for four of them, two interceptions, two fumbles. One of the interceptions was a pick six. One of the fumbles, and I'm sure this has happened before, but myself personally, I've never seen it. Uh, but a fumble when you're trying to spike the ball. I mean, when I saw that happen during the game, I was like, uh, what? Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. And look, I know I say this in a lot of videos, guys, but I'm at a loss for words. Uh, I'm still trying to put it all together. <laughs> you know, um, and I, I probably sound like a broken record saying that, but there are just some things that I see where I really don't know how to respond to it. Um. I mean, all I can say is this, um, you know, with the meat of our schedule coming up, I mean, we have Stanford coming into South Bend next week, and they're a damn good football team. Uh, but with the with the overall meat of our schedule coming up, we cannot afford to turn the ball over five times. It is just unacceptable. There's there's no excuse for it. And uh, uh, at least a couple of those could have been avoided, you know. Um, so, I mean, still a lot of things we have to clean up. And you know what the real scary part was? Well, not scary, and I say that in a good way. Um, but Everett Golson put up some phenomenal numbers tonight. You know, over 350 yards passing, three touchdown passes, um, came close to tying uh, the record, the NCAA record for most consecutive passes. Um, so the numbers that he did put up were ph were phenomenal. But unfortunately, the way it's going to get played down and you know, and in the media and, you know, college game day and the message boards and all that are the, his mistakes that he made. That's going to overshadow all of that. Um, but I mean, you know, I, you, you can't really, you can't really b blame myself or anybody else for thinking that because, you know, to turn the ball over five times in a game, I mean, the, the, the fifth turnover being a, a Greg Bryant fumble, um, you know, this, uh, all those mistakes could have easily cost us this game tonight. Thank God that it didn't. And I'm glad, of course, I'm, I'm glad that it didn't, but you can't expect to turn the ball over five times a game and come out with the victory. It just doesn't happen. Again, I don't know if Notre Dame is the exception to that or, or what, but, um, you know, we gotta, we gotta clean this crap up. It can't happen. Cause if we're, if we're going to do this during the meat of our schedule with, with all these, uh, tougher opponents coming up like Stanford and uh, Florida State and, you know, Louisville and North Carolina being a big-time trap game, you just can't do it. I mean, we're going to have we're gonna have some serious problems if we make those mistakes against these opponents because they will make us pay for it. Um, so there's really not much more I can say about it, but you just we got to clean it up. We, you know, Everett, Everett cannot be making these kind of mistakes. Um, so just, you know, think it's, it's all, a lot of it's mental. So, I mean, I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to put him down, but you know, I'm sure he's going to hear a lot worse from, from Brian Kelly. So, um, but I'm just more or less stating the obvious. So got, we have some things to clean up D, the defensive side of things tonight. I thought the defense played really well. I mean, when you think about it, they only gave up, uh, Nine points total, because uh, the other six came from the, the interception return for a touchdown. But, you know, the defense did give up some plays, but other than that, they, they did a great job holding their ground. So Van Gorder, once again, had those boys ready to play. Um, but, you know, overall, like I said, um, aside from the mistakes that were made t tonight, you know, the 
five turnovers, which I think we we can clean it up. Um, you can't really complain about your team getting the victory, and I'm happy with with any victory that we get, no matter how we get it. Just uh, you know, it's probably not a best example, but I remember Charlie Weiss said, um, I think it was uh, after the San Diego State game in 2008. You know, hey, uh, and, and this stands true to this day, no matter who's there. But a uh, uh, ugly win is better than an uh, ugly loss. So I'll take the ugly win any day. Uh, so with that with that said, guys, you know, there's not much more to say. We we know what we can do. We just have to clean up the mistakes, uh, not commit the turnovers. I mean, the turnovers, I say that for my first key to strategy, to, uh, strategy for victory every single preview that I do, protect the football. We didn't do that tonight, but we we cannot make a habit of that. We have to clean it up. So with that said, guys, that's all I have for you. Um, win is a win. I'll take it however we can get it. So with that said, said guys, this is ND Sean 45 signing off. Go Irish.